I am in Israel getting ready. Uh, Bellator's got a big show coming up. Bellator has come to Israel the same date, four years in a row. They're going to be playing the next four years and four years after that. They got a big commitment to Israel. 20 fights on the card, all sorts of local up and coming talent going to be given their opportunity. Then when the main card starts, that's going to be really a showcase of international stars. And Scott Coker takes the Israeli show very serious. He always wants to put his best foot forward. So we've got Linton Vassell, main event, taking on Sergei Kentarnov. Kentarnov, by the way, is a hard name for me to say, but I believe I'm saying it perfectly correct. You guys will let me know. This fight's interesting, and I'll tell you why. Linton... The belief coming into this fight is that Linton is too small. He's moved up to heavyweight. And now he's taking on one of the biggest heavyweights in the division. I bought into that because Linton was at 205 pounds. Every time I see Linton, he weighs between 205 and 212 pounds based on where he is in the weight cut. That turned out not to be true. The weigh-ins were today, Linton was 240 pounds. 240 pounds, that's a heavyweight. Put that in perspective for you, don't forget. Stipe, the night he just won his championship back, weighed at 230 pounds. Daniel Cormier for that fight weighed at 236 pounds. So I don't think that we get to continue the dialogue that Linton is too small. It sounds like that's a real heavyweight. And by the way, he's going to have a little bit of a speed advantage, right? When you look at that matchup, I think you guys would probably agree with me, and the odds makers do agree with me. You're going to have a stand-up fight. And by the way, Sergey is amongst the greatest stand-up fighters that this sport has. I've always wanted to see a fight. I'm digressing here, but I've always wanted to see a fight because I respect Sergey on his feet so much against Junior Dos Santos, right? Two different organizations, they never really cross each other's paths, but that was a fight I always thought would be really fun. Two stand-up guys, right? The boxing of Junior, the kickboxing of Sergey. I just want to see that fight. As you insert Linton in here, and now you're armed with the evidence of the weigh-in that he's 240 pounds, all of a sudden this fight looks a little bit different. All of a sudden this isn't a little heavyweight that got matched up with a great big guy. All, they're separated by 20 pounds, but at heavyweight, that's, that's very normal. And I think it does have to change the way that you start to look at the X's and O's of this fight. And what's interesting, anytime you have a stand-up contest and you have one guy that's bigger, and even though we're talking about their weights are close, Sergey is just a bigger man, Linton who's coming into it. The way these fights always play, when they're stand-up battles, the bigger guy who is Sergey has to protect his body because Linton can get in there and touch his body and get out real fast. But Linton, who's the smaller guy, has to protect his chin. That's more common. Most fighters are prepared, ducking and rolling and bobbing and weaving to protect their face. A lot of fighters aren't prepared to protect their body. So of those two <coughs> deals, you'd probably rather have Sergey's deal. You'd probably rather have a guy hitting you in your body and not have to worry about your face as much. <laughs> the other side of the coin is it's a little bit harder to protect your body. It's just not something the fighters, it's one of the reasons body shots are so effective. Guys are always head hunting. They don't even change elevation and go to the body all that often. In boxing they do, but not in MMA. In MMA guys keep their hands up a little bit more. I think it's an interesting fight. And I think as this fight plays out, you should remember I said this, because I think I'm saying something very wise right here. Sergey needs to protect his body. Linton needs to protect his chin. On the feet, on the ground. Undefeated, never lost a round. Biggest arms in the city of Westland. Undisputed, go king of wrestling. Tito tapped, Fado quit. John Jones broke a toe and had to sit. Anderson got mauled and bashed, and the bad guy made off with a bag of cash. Oh, and by the way, let me offer this. Chael knows just how good Conor McGregor is, and he knows into all this way. Kevin Lee fits, but he'll never reveal the secret to business. Uncle Chael, Uncle Chael, Uncle Chael, Irinami, Uncle Chael.